is Angela Warla. I'm the Digital Collections Project Manager at the University of Illinois Library at Urbana-Champaign. I work in a unit called Digital Content Creation, which works in tandem with preservation and conservation here at the library. My name is Jennifer Hain Tepper. I'm the head of Preservation Services, and that's a unit here in the library that serves the entire library as well as campus. And those units involve traditional preservation, conservation of special collections and general collections, so the physical care of collections. Um, it encompasses media preservation and digitization, digital preservation, as well as now digitization. That's just the most recent unit that's kind of folded into the preservation umbrella. So we get to oversee all of those and how they coordinate within each other. So a really good example of when digitization and conservation collaborated together was with a newspaper that was the first published account of the attempted assassination on Abraham Lincoln. This was published before he was even dead. Very rare object. It was in terrible shape. And so conservation and digitization worked together. The newspaper had holes in it, it had tears, it was discolored. And so obviously from both the display and from a digitization standpoint, it had a lot of challenges. Conservation worked with the digitization team to look at brightening the paper, to get better contrast on the image, to make it a lot more legible, but also then to repair all of the holes and damage so that it could be digitized more smoothly, get a much better image, and be handled safely. When we first bought the BC-100, conservation came and saw how the BC-100 worked. They reviewed what their concerns were, what they were hoping we could do with it, and um, it really helped us solidify what our abilities were going to be in terms of increasing our rare book digitization. Uh, we understood what kinds of spines could be handled that way and um, how we could place them on the cradle safely. Um, what supports we could use, um, and providing support in terms of holding back pages. Um, whenever we receive a small book, we've, we've consulted with them on how we could use the BC-100 to digitize it safely. Um, they've made a specific tools for us to hold back pages on the BC-100, and those have been really just, they've been, it's a really wonderful relationship. So the institution has been working very hard to continuously improve our ability to digitize materials. Um, when we first started digitizing materials in our special collections, um, there were a lot of concerns about damage to the materials. Conservation worked very closely, but there were a lot of rejects because they simply weren't comfortable digitizing those materials on the hardware that we had. Um, as the library has been able to improve our hardware, our abilities to digitize materials safely has greatly increased. As an alternative to digitizing materials on the BC-100, we often divert materials to the DT-3040, and um, these include materials that are um, too rare or fragile to use. Um, often these include medieval manuscripts. They will also, um, we will do foldouts that are too large to do on the BC-100. To a certain size, we can digitize foldouts on the BC-100 with um, really specific support. But when it gets too large, we will use the DT-3040 to digitize large foldouts um, from bound materials and combine them in our workflows. So one bound item will have images digitized on the BC-100 as well as the DT-3040. So the communication between digitization and conservation is really developing into a robust two-way conversation where we're educating each other. Conservation is always working with the digitization team to tell them about limitations within bindings, what we can and can't fix, um, and making them understand why we can and can't fix something, what things they should be careful of if they see it during the digitization process, when to stop, when to know, when to stop and call us. Um, but likewise, it's helping us to go in and actually look at their cameras and understand how their workflows, how are they handling materials, how are they propping the books open, what sort of straps and whatnot are they using, and how that material then reacts with the object so we can better work to conserve it, anticipating that sort of use. Digitizing special collections presents a wide range of challenges, and we've been able to work closely with conservation on the handling of our materials safely as well as digital transitions to implement the software and hardware solutions that they offer in our digitization program.